Hey everyone, it's Chrissy Vane. I have recently deleted all of my social media. So at least for now, the only place you're gonna be able to find me is YouTube. Um, reasons why I deleted my social media. I just did not think that it brought anything too terribly positive to my life. Um, and I feel like a lot of us feel that way. And, um, and I just wanted to reset and reboot. And let me tell you, I have felt absolutely amazing since deleting everything. Um, I know that when you're an entertainer, people think that um, it's really important and that, you know, you have to have a social media presence. Um, I'm here to test the theory that God, Spirit, Universe will put you in the right place at the right time with the right people. Um, it's not that I hated social media. It's just that it, I like to be like a super present and super productive person. And I just felt like that it took up so much of my time that I was not, first of all, as present as I wanted to be. And I was not as, um, as productive. And then my iPhone would tell me like, oh, you know, you were on the internet for seven hours today. I'm like, seven, seven hours doing what? Doing what? And it's like, wow, I could have spent that seven hours writing or doing YouTube or spending time with my family or exercising or something really productive. So I deleted it. The first few days were hard, I will say, because you kind of get in like that mode of like, oh, I need to be scrolling. I need to be scrolling. I need to be scrolling. However, after that, it starts to get to the point where you're like, oh, wow, this is, this actually feels good. Wow. I have so much extra time. Uh, wow. I don't feel, um, I'm not doing that like comparison game anymore of like, oh, these people are doing this and I'm not, which uh, people probably did that to my account too. And my life is literally so boring. Um, <laughs> so, uh, it's been really refreshing. It's been two weeks now, almost. It's been terribly refreshing and I won't say that I'm not ever going to go back, but I will say that I'm enjoying my break and that this is the only place that you're going to be able to find me right now. Um, I'm also not going to allow comments. If you guys want to support me, you can subscribe, you can hit your little bell notifications and you can hit the like button. But I think that when you allow comments, you again, get into that like ego thing of like checking to see what people are thinking. What are they saying about you? And I just don't want to do that anymore. It's like, I want to break free from the matrix and, um, and get out of that web, you know, because if, if something has control of your mind, then they have control of you. If you are in control of your mind and you are clear and you are present, then that's how we get those messages. That's how we get those intuitive hits. That's how God, spirit, universe talks to us. So, you know, really when I knew I was in trouble was when I had stopped getting the intuitive hits like I'm used to because my brain was always jumbled, always jumbled, always over inundated with information. So I said, this is enough. I'm going to stop. And I did. And maybe I won't get booked in wrestling. Maybe I won't uh, be a performer. I, I don't know what's going to happen because maybe the theory is correct that you do have to have a social media presence to be a booked performer. Or maybe I can prove that that's a crock of shit and that you don't actually have to have all that, that it's your vibration and it's your light that brings things to you. We'll see. So I plan on updating here, um, you know, whenever I feel called. Uh, I'm still doing aesthetics. I'm still taking wrestling bookings. We're revamping the website because I've, I'm going to start doing more speaking at Holistic Expos. Um, and we're starting, um, you know, working with the girls at the wrestling school, at the wrestling lab in St. Pete. So I'm starting to do that some. 
and uh, really enjoying just, you know, really I'm a teacher at heart, so I teach uh, spirituality. I teach people how to take care of their skin. Um, I per I'm a performer, but I love working with the younger generations because I like to teach and like hopefully keep them from doing the things that I did and the thing, you know, the, the ways that I messed up in, you know, a, a trillion different ways. I like to try to keep people from that. Um, and just help people along their path be better uh, because I did not have that. I had to teach it to myself. And so that's really what I want to be for people. And that's sort of like my goal in 2022 is to um, be a present teacher and a mentor and to see where I can shine my light and to help. Uh, the last few years have been tough, a shit show for everybody. And I think we're going to be coming out of that hopefully in the next couple of months to a point. I mean, things are probably, well, definitely things will never be the same, but hopefully things will lighten up. The energy is hopefully going to lighten up. The astrology shows it kind of hitting a peak in the next couple of months and then lightening after that. Um, but this is a call guys. This is a call to your ministry or whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing with your life. This has been a huge wake up call in the last two years. I can no longer take part in things that, that don't resonate with my soul. And I think that that's what we're all being called to. So we're revamping the website. You guys can find me at kristenubanks.com or I think it's kristenubanks.com. Um, there's also a Chrissy Vane link. So I can link all those below and um, you can book private healing sessions with me or private readings with me. I'm a holistic life coach. I'm an intuitive, I'm an energy healer, um, and I work um, in a shamanic type way. But I don't always tell people that. Sometimes I just carry on and do my thing and I don't even say anything, I just hold space. I think that those are the best healers. We don't have to go about like telling people like, I'm a healer, I'm a healer, I'm a healer, I'm a healer. Like 99% of the time I don't say anything. I just do my work and then let it speak for itself. So anyways, happy 2022. I am looking forward to an amazing year of abundance and great shifts and, uh, and projects that are heart centered for all of us and looking forward to connecting with you guys at wrestling shows and at holistic expos and whatever else comes along. So we'll see you soon and I'll be vlogging throughout the year, sometimes with my family, sometimes by myself, but I just wanted to update you guys and please let anyone or everyone know who you think might want to find me that this is going to be my only outlet, at least for a little bit. So thanks guys. I hope you're doing well and I'll see you soon.